Hello guys, good afternoon because our time is almost 6 in the afternoon. Anyway, like almost in the evening. Today is September 20, 2019. Uh, anyway guys, we are here in the kitchen because we're going to start our pickles. And before we're gonna start for, you know, like uh, showing you guys what is the uh, ingredients or how to prepare uh, like doing pickling or pickles. So we're doing now uh, cucumber pickles. So... Uh, if you know guys we have a lot of cucumbers I don't know how many pounds but it's really a lot of cucumbers that we have today I don't know if this is uh, what's called uh, you know like a really familiar in the Philippines to do a pickling, a pickling in the uh, cucumbers but here uh, we are in United States of course people her especially the other you know like uh, doing the gardens and doing canning pickles and for example like a tomatoes they're doing uh, they're making on tomato sauce or a salsa but today guys I'm gonna show you how to do a pickles but before we're gonna start and before I'm going to show what how to prepare and uh, we can call like a ingredients so i just want to say thank you so much to all my supporters and subscribers even we are not in a big channels and i just want to say thank you so much who will give this t-shirt to me anyway this is not a sponsored uh, i just want to say only thank you thank you so much uh, i really like the t-shirt and uh i like this one here the, the print is come out of her my people i don't know how to read this C O O H M P. Uh, it's making me hard to I, I was thinking about how to read but I still don't know how to read this C O O H M P so if you know how to you read that guys uh you know you can tell me about that but home come home come it's really hard for me okay so anyway come out of her my people I like this one so i think uh the person just give this to me he get this from the online if you like this kind of t-shirt you can uh, find these guys I'm, I'm gonna put the link uh where you can get or we, where you can visit you know their channel i think he have a channel also yeah yeah there is a channel the name of the channel is in the back of my t-shirt i'm gonna show you guys about the back of my t-shirt okay that's the name of the channel is a uh, viking preparedness anyway uh, it's different kind of contents under you know the contents guys is different i just like how to prepare you know especially like for emergency something like that like that but yeah uh if you like the t-shirt if you want to go uh if you wanted guys to visit or you know what i'm talking about just go to the video description i'm gonna put the link in there and also uh if you wanted uh you know for the giveaways or for the game and our fb page so just uh go in there and just click just visit for the fb page so you will know how to do that uh right now i just want to continue uh you know like uh, i think we it's time to start for our pickles because it's almost dark now and i just want to finish before dark you know like uh it's really late in the evening i just want hopefully i can uh i will finish her a little early so but anyway, uh, this t-shirt is really for, feel comfortable for me and I'm not really fan of a t-shirt uh, when I was in the Philippines but here I loved wearing t-shirt, especially a little loose t-shirt and it's nice guys, um, especially here uh, this is a small for me um, like that. it's a good kind of t-shirt if, uh, if you are, uh, you know, if you like a t-shirt or if you I uh, love wearing t-shirt, uh, maybe it's up to you guys if you like this kind, but it's nice t-shirt for me. So I just want to say again, thank you so much who will give this to me and especially where we get of this t-shirt, it's, it's nice and a good t-shirt. Okay, now we're going to our pickles. Uh, we have two, uh, what's it called, two different pack of pickling, uh, like it's, we can call this is a, you know, for making a brine, okay. And there, there is an instruction at the back, guys. Okay, this one in here is a spicy pickles. So if you see that, guys, uh, yeah, that's a spiky, uh, spicy pickles. It's for cucumber because we're going to pickles our cucumber. And there is an instruction at the back. You will read that. And the, the instruction there is, uh, you know, like, uh, for example, like 10 or 11 pounds of cucumbers and how many water you can add or vinegar or, you know, like, uh, you know, there is an instruction. And then, 
The other one is called bread and butter pickles. So anyway, I never tried of this. The other one, yeah, I tried this one, the spicy, but the butter pickles, this is my first time this. But uh, because I love to experiment with food, uh, I just, and I already uh, make a brine, like a, a kind of water that we need, we need, you know, we can put in the jar where we can put also the cucumber. So I just put two pack of this and I add six, Oh no, I add, yeah, it's six cups of water and a four cups of uh, vinegar. And then I add a little bit of uh, sugar. It depends to your taste. You know, uh, I, I don't uh, measure the sugar, guys. I just only like, uh, you know, just only steam it, you know, like, uh, it depends to you if you want a little sweet or not, you know. So, yeah. Yeah, the other one is a bread and butter pickles. You can buy by the store. I don't know, but we get this in the Walmart, and you can buy this in somewhere also. Uh, Wal Walmart, I think, I don't know, in Giant Eagle, and you can get also in the place, you know, somewhere. So, if you cannot buy this kind of pack, like what I use, you can make on uh, brine. Like, for example, uh, like what I did last year. I tried last year, it worked very good. So, uh... I'm gonna show you guys uh, what I did last year. Okay, this is what I did last year. I'm gonna show you the little jar. So we have a cucumber in here. I put a uh, black pepper, garlic, and if you have a mustard seeds, you can put also that or either dill, D I L L dill. You know, uh, if you have that kind. But if you don't have, it's fine as long there is a uh, garlic, uh, black pepper. And then you can add a little bit of sugar, you know, like a little bit of sugar only because sugar is a good for pickling, especially for the long term storage, you know, if you want uh, your pickles to stay good, you know, even how many years, just add a little bit of sugar. And then uh, I just, uh, for example, okay, uh, oh, uh, just wait, okay, um, water is about six cup of water and the vinegar, uh, if I'm not wrong, it will be a four cups of a vinegar, and then six cup of a water, and then you can put. Uh, it depends to you guys if you want to so if you want a little salty and if you want a not so salty. So you just need to add only a kind of you know salt. But the salt you're gonna use a salt, not the regular salt. There is a salt for pickling, so you need to ask in the store. So what kind of salt you can use for pickles? And also, as I said, just add a little bit of sugar, so you can make your own. Uh, you know, like uh, what you call that? I call that brine, but it's not really brine. I don't know exactly. But like this, guys, uh, there is a you know to put or uh, you know like a uh, water. You know, yeah, that's what we need to. Uh, make and then you can cook in the fire just only boiled in there like a minute you know it depends to you but you don't need to start boiling that so long just the very important that uh, it's boiling uh, for one minute it's okay you know as long it's boiled yeah and I put a garlic there is a garlic it's floating and also we have a black pepper and if you have as I said a mustard seeds you can add of that and those like that and then if you want a little spicy you can add by uh, hot paper or spices you know like that so it's so very easy only so you can make your own uh, brine like a water for your pickling and then after that uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this later but for now you need to prepare yeah this is from the last year this is what I did I used a small can and we have a big uh, can or a jar also so but now it's still good uh, I already opened this so that's why uh, we put this in the refrigerator once this is an open just make sure that you can put in the refrigerator or either uh, for example when you're pickling and then the lid is not really uh, close uh, just put that in the refrigerator will be fine about a month okay so let's start and this is the kind of uh, vinegar that I use guys I almost forget yeah I use a kind of vinegar it's called uh, 5% acetic strength with water so it's just like a 5% acetic strength of water so don't use the very strong vinegar as I, uh, as I know so that's a pure vinegar this is a yeah it's a pure vinegar that's what we use distilled vinegar 5% acetic strength vinegar so that's what you use to if you wanted you know like if you wanted to do a pickles so right now we're gonna start to prepare our pickles 
Okay guys, for the preparation, we have a jars in here. I'm gonna show you guys, this is our jar. When you buy this, of course, there is a lid, a ring, and the, the bowl, like this. So, we need to remove this in here because uh, we need to wash the jar. We need to wash this one because uh, the smell is something like a stock. And then, you know, there is something to wash. Um, I don't know exactly. Okay. And that jar, there is a, like a pocket. There is a cold ring and there is a lid. And make sure their lid is a good because uh, if not good, it's not sold good to your jar. I think the other jar is there is a crack. But make sure huh, that your jar is no crack because it's not really good. Yeah, we have two jar in here. I know. It's not two. We have 12. 12 jar. I don't know what is the size of this. But the size is like this size. Yeah, this is what we need to use for canning today. Just make sure only that they don't have a crock. And then we're going to wash of this. I don't know exactly how much of you know jar that we can uh, put in our pot for the one load. But I'm gonna wash only 12 jars. Hopefully it's uh oh my gosh. Hopefully it's enough or fit, you know. So okay, I'm gonna start now and I will I'll come back a little bit. And this is our pot guys for uh what's called for pickling. So I just turned on the you know the that's a double burner in there because we have a big pot and I just put the water in there. Uh, and then I'm gonna put this like uh, you know where we can put our uh, our jar, a container jar. So it looks like that now. And now guys, uh, we need to prepare our jars uh, because we need to sterilize our jar before we can put our cucumbers. So uh, make sure that your jars is uh, very clean. And now this is our jars looks like. Uh, uh, it needs only like 10 minutes of sterilizing. And now our jars is outside by the pot, of course, it's already cold. And we need to put the cucumber in here. Uh, this is looks like now. You can put a cucumber as you can, uh, just in every space. And of course, you need to put a lot. Uh, it depends how you can file it. And now after we put the cucumber in the jar, uh, it's ready to put uh, brine or the water that you, you know, uh, because you need to put this kind of stuff for your cucumber. This is how you can pickles. And in every uh, jar, make sure that you can put the kind of ingredients like for example, uh, seeds and in every jar, it's better that there is a garlic also. And we use this kind of thing, uh, just remove the bubbles, I mean the air, you know. So you, you just need to make sure that there is a, you know, uh, there, they don't have a bubbles inside of your jar. So that's why we use that. And then we need to clean the mouth of the jar so your lid will uh, get sold very well. So this is looks how all our jars now after we prepare. You know guys, we're gonna prepare for the lids. Uh, the lids, uh, we need to sterilize about 3 to 5 minutes. So the rubber also uh, can uh, stick to the mouth of the chart. So that's the purpose also. And then I'm gonna use like something a magnet so we don't burn our salt.
and just make sure the lid you can put into the mouth of the jar uh, correctly of course uh, that's like a good level that's what we're doing in here You know guys it's time to show how to put the ring uh it make sure guys huh that uh, the ring don't uh too much you know don't uh make so tight it's only the finger tight only so uh the air or the bubbles can get out so that's why you don't need to tight uh just only uh you know it's just a little bit tight only it's called finger tight You know, we're gonna put in our uh, boiling pot and make sure the fire is just a medium heat only. And then you can leave there until 2 hours or 3 hours. You know, after 2 hours, this is looks like uh, it's ready to remove. Uh. And this is our pickles looks like now. I already removed from the boiling pot and I put a towel in here so it protect by the jar or the glass. I mean, because the jar guys after you, you know, uh, you boil the jar is so very sensitive, the glass. The glass is so sensitive after you're boiling. So the very important also don't remove the ring. You can remove the ring after 3 or 5 hours and don't touch the lids. You know, the lid. Don't touch the lid about 24 hours so you can leave the you know 24 hours in here make sure that the area where you can put the pickles or after you boil the you know the pickles uh just make sure that the area you cannot disturb that just about 24 hours and so we'll check after uh five hours or three hours okay you know guys after five hours i'm gonna show what uh happened for our pickles uh this is looks like now i already removed if you see this they don't have a uh, ring in here because i already removed after you know because it's more than a five hours since uh, i was uh, treating her you know we put these uh, jars in here so they don't have a ring i just uh, already removed the rings and our charge so it's just like that and just leave that about 24 hours in there so don't disturb the charge or your pickles about 24 hours and we're gonna check that after 24 hours uh, today we're gonna check if uh, the lids of the jar is already sealed. So uh, let's start. So I'm gonna try just like this. Uh, that's how you can uh, you will know. Just press in the here. You know you can press and then they don't have any space. They don't have any air and then you can try to open. Uh, if already sealed, it's already hard to open the lid. Believes me, it's really really hard to open the lid. So here also it's pretty sealed and the other one. Here, guys, it's uh, very soft. Uh, you didn't have any sounds if you can knocking in here, and if you try to open, it's very hard to open. I guess you should need to use something open, you know, to open. Like uh, I don't know exactly, but uh, it's a little hard to open. And I'm gonna show you guys uh, the thing that is not sold. You know what is the sound for the thing? You know, like uh, the lid that not sold. The lid that is not sold just sound like this. There is uh, this here. Uh, not include the red because that red uh, that in there I just put that uh, it means this is a spicy okay I'm gonna push this there is a sound of pumping yes just like that there is a pump you know because uh, it's not sold and then there is a sound if you're knocking like this So if there is a jar guys that it, it's not uh, sold uh, you can uh, put that into the refrigerator uh, and then uh, you can leave or refrigerate that about three to five months and then you can eat that i mean it's still good uh but reminder about the pickles uh, you could not eat the uh cucumber uh, before 24 hours you know after you're cooking because it's not really good and how you can store this jar put back the ring or you need uh, you don't uh, put uh, the ring it's fine that's how you can store your uh 